Okay, guys, so today I'm going to do a pretty serious glam on the plane. The first thing I'm going to begin with is my hair, and I found these sleep rollers online. I'm super excited to try them for the first time. Um, apparently, they're supposed to make your hair pretty curly and look really glamorous without any heat, which is what I need on the plane. So I'm using a towel, I'm wetting my hair, and then I'm rolling it to see, hopefully, they'll give me a little bit of a curl on the plane. You're supposed to sleep with them, but uh, this is a long flight. This is a 16-hour flight. So hopefully we'll get something out of it. This is a really cool rubber clay mask that I got um, online. This is from Elixir Skin. It's supposed to, you know, be really good to remove impurities. And my skin, honestly, I've been so busy. So hopefully this will help me just look more refreshed when I arrive. I also found these really weird cucumber eye masks. I think these look really, really cute. I'm just going to put them on my eyes and I can immediately feel they're de-puffing, they're cooling, which is amazing. I look crazy though. I don't want anybody to see me right now. Okay, so I feel so much better. I have a wet cloth. I'm trying to remove everything off my skin. My skin is definitely more refreshed and it feels amazing. I'm actually super impressed. The last thing I'm gonna do for my skin is this mask from Tony Moly. And true story, I use this every single time I fly because I feel like my skin looks so radiant when I arrive. I love it. And Nora came into my cubby. She wanted to be part of the video. I had to I had to ask her to leave. She's really cute right here, but she was going crazy. <laughs> yeah, she really wanted to be a part of the video. <laughs> I couldn't move, and I don't think she was understanding I couldn't move. She also was trying to do what I was doing. This is the Nurse Jamie face um, uplift roller. I just wanted to get a little extra lift and a little extra contour in my skin because when you're on a plane, sometimes you don't have really great circulation. I'm now just hydrating my face with some of my favorite products. Nora is finally leaving. I love her, but <laughs> she's driving me a little crazy. I'm just using the Anne Simone and Eye Serum, which I love. Um, I forgot to shave my face, and yes... I have a little stubble on my chin. I'm not embarrassed. I grab this razor and I'm just going to shave my face. A lot of people are probably wondering where I got the razor. I got it from the bathroom. I'm now just going to do my brows. This is the Benefit um, Brow Pencil, which I love. I'm using it in 4.5 and also 3.5. Um, and this is really great because it's really easy to travel with. And it's just amazing at drawing like real looking brows on. This is one of my favorite palettes from our new obsessions. Um, this is the Ruby, super tiny, really easy to travel with. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a little bit of a burgundy kind of not really airport appropriate, but pretty red look. And this is an amazing new eyeliner I just started using and I love it. It's the new Hindosh and Wuju collaboration. Really easy to use and um, also travel friendly because it doesn't have too much ink in it, um, just the right amount, and it's really, really, really easy to use. I'm just gonna use a mascara, just in case any eyeshadow fell on my lashes, because I think it's really important to always do that, like a lot of drama on my lashes. And then I'm just gonna apply some false lashes um, to really complete this eye look. And I know this is really dramatic. Um, people actually looked at me in the airport when I left, but I think it was a good way, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna go for yes. And I'm just gonna now apply a little foundation. And I used mostly cream foundations because it was a little hard to travel with any liquid foundations. I'm just adding a little contour. Anytime you need to travel, cream products are definitely ideal. This one is awesome. This is from Maybelline and it has like a buffer on the other side and I really love it for just kind of like blending out contour. I'm just using a blender to kind of blend everything out. And I'm just using our Overachiever Concealer. It's pretty pigmented, so hopefully this will allow me to create like a really nice look overall. I'm really going like kind of traditional highlight and contour because I need the concealer to overachieve, <laughs> no pun intended, for the lack of foundation. And I'm just gonna blend everything out now with the bottom of the sponge. I always love to use the bottom of the sponge to kind of blend everything out really nicely. And of course, I always like to do a little targeted concealing with the other end of our concealer brush. It's really, really, really pointed, so it makes it perfect for that. And I'm just applying um, a pressed powder under my eyes, and I'm also using a bronzer to kind of um, set everything in together. This is the Victoria Beckham bronzer, which I really love. It's such an amazing bronzer. And I'm putting it all over to kind of make sure that everything looks really nice and blended. I'm not going for Insta, Instagram glam. I'm going for maybe not 2018 Instagram glam. <laughs> I'm just going to apply our lip contour in Venus all over my lips, and um, I'm just going to use some lip balm on top. And I need to use my palette for blush because I don't have a palette with me, so I'm just going to use the palette all over the cheeks and the forehead, just kind of warm the face, especially because I don't have foundation, um, and it's really doing a good job. Also going to finish my smoky eye, 
just to make it look really nice and pretty, really warm. A lot of people were looking at me, but nobody said anything, so that's good. Uh, I also brought the the topaz palette because I wasn't sure which palette I was going to use because um, they're so tiny, they're easy to travel with. So I'm just using this as highlighter um, so I can get a little bit of shimmer and on the brow bone as well. And that was really shimmery. I wasn't expecting to be as shimmery as it is. It's so pretty. I love it. I'm going to contour the face a little bit more, especially the nose. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take these rollers out now, hopefully. I don't know what to expect. I was just, ooh, that looks nice. Okay, I can do with this. This looks really nice. I'm really impressed. Um, I only left these on for about five hours. I took a break after filming, um, and I'm pretty impressed. And the plane is cold. It's not really hot, so I'm super impressed with this. I think my curls look amazing. My hair has more volume. Okay, I'm doing this every time I fly. I'm going to be that really obnoxious person with full glam at the airport. Make sure you guys say hello. Oh, my God, this hair. And, of course, I'm going to tease it because why not? Um, I have a brush that I got from the bathroom. And, yeah, I mean, this is full glam at the airport. I'm pretty shocked with how glamorous I was able to, to go, but... You know, I'm happy. I think this looks pretty good. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys.